All right, so like I said, we're going to talk about breakpoints, and breakpoints are pretty simple to get your head around. It's pretty much what we're using for all the examples. Um, I'm just giving you a, a simple example of how they work, uh, and then you'll see them a little more in depth, with the other three examples. So within Bootstrap, you have four kind of categories here uh, as it pertains to the, the width of the screen. So if you look at my descriptions here, uh, a large is set to break once we uh, get to 1200 pixels. And what's gonna happen is I've got a rule for each one of these, as you see here in my description, each one of these are set to a three column span, which if you know Bootstrap, you have a, uh, in total, one row is 12 columns. So I have these equally um, dispersed across the row. But they're set at three columns on each breaking point. So different things are gonna happen to each one of these as I change the size of the browser. And you'll see what I mean by break here is, is as soon as we reach the 1200 pixel point, this column, the rule for it being three will not be the case anymore. It'll switch to 12. And then as we get smaller, once we hit the 992 pixel, the medium rule will kick in and this div here will span across 12 instead of three, and then so on. Now the extra small is pretty much the default. If you, you know, so once we pass the uh, small range, extra small is just a given. So let's test this out here. If you watch our uh, number up in the top right, we've got a ways to go here until we get around 12. All right, so we're right around 1200. As soon as I cross that, you're going to see the large is going to span across 12 columns instead of three. Boom. All right, so we've hit that break point. All right, so now you get the idea of what's going to happen next. We're going to keep going, and once we get to 992, the medium should span across. There you go. Now our next break point is 768 where we'll see the small. And because the extra small is the smallest unit and the default, it will never break. So it will never span across 12. No matter how small we get, it stays. So that's the smallest rule you can make. So if you were on a mobile phone um, in portrait mode, this is what's gonna happen. So Generally, you set your extra small to go ahead and span across. Because by the time you get to this size of a screen, a three column spread is pretty small. So that's an example of how breakpoints work. And we're gonna be using breakpoints throughout the rest of the uh, series. Let's hop under the hood here really quick. And right, I'm gonna grab the part of this that we were looking at, toss that over here in the sandbox. Um, if you're not familiar with Bootstrap, though, I'll, I'll make point this out really quick. You do need to have all the Bootstrap pieces and parts in here. The style sheet, um, not this one, this one's mine, just for the demo. And the JavaScript for jQuery and uh, Bootstrap down below. So you need to keep that in mind. But I'm hoping most of you are familiar with Bootstrap. So let's take a look here. So we have a row, all right? And here you see the rules I gave each one of these divs. Um, this is all that's important here. Is a col for column dash medium three. So this div will stay three columns until it's hit the medium breakpoint. This one will stay three columns until it hits a small breakpoint. And this one, since it's extra small, will always stay. So the next example we're going to get into is the grid, which this is technically the grid, but we're going to get a little we're gonna get a little deeper into that. 